Hi guys, my name's Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain and welcome back. Now today I wanted to talk about something that was interesting to me. And there are a lot of things that are interesting to me, but this thing stands out. And that is, we were talking about kind of uh, dating last week, especially online dating um, and, and some of the stuff around that. And now here's the thing. In theory, thanks to online dating and the increasing communicative technologies and things like that, um, you can potentially have a dating pool of thousands and thousands of people spread out across a huge area. And so here's the here's the thing. Can you be happy with 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 any one of those people? Is is there any way when you can potentially date anybody or you can be in a relationship with anybody? Can you really kind of be happy with just one and the thing that I, I kind of want to address with this is that people often say when you're leaving a relationship oh well, it's fine there's plenty more fish in the sea but what happens when there are too many fish and this comes down to um, a, a situation known as choice overload and there's a choice overload effect is a thing that that's uh, pretty well kind of um, examined theory within kind of behavioral psychology and economics and stuff like that and it, can, it can basically the, the long and short of it is that uh, despite the, the fact that people kind of like what they like and they want what they want in in they kind of want more choice around those things in most situations you know choice is usually seen as a good thing you know you've got a wide choice of things so it suits you can pick the one that suits your needs specifically um, you also find that people are less satisfied with the things that they then get to choose if there are more things for them to choose from. And the the reason for this usually comes down to the fact that there are due to the number of increased opportunities, there are more kind of what if moments. Yeah. Uh, for example, toilet paper. Yeah. If you've got three different varieties of kind of like hard like sandpaper soft like the pillowy andrex kind of stuff and then somewhere in between um then chances are you're just going to pick the one that suits your need more and you'll just be fine with it and that's like okay well that one was that extreme this one was this extreme and this one was the thing that i wanted that that's cool in which case that's what i'll go with but let's say that you've got 30 different brands and each one is in theory even though they're probably not actually but in theory they're offering the same kind of things or they're offering different things but it's all worded in, a, in an interesting way you know specifically to draw your attention to it and so as a result now that you've got 30 options or so you know firstly making the choice is more decision because of more of a decision it's more of a, a thing to do just because you've got so many more options to maybe go through uh, depending on what kind of personality you have for example a, a d-type personality like myself talking about disc here d-type personality like myself is more likely to just go eh and pick up whatever because we're results focused someone whose eye is more likely to to look for input from people uh, an S is going to be more likely to defer and a C is going to look at the specifics but then also kind of things like um, the the kind of paralysis over over having so many options is something especially that happens with kind of like S and C type personalities because they like to work more slowly and more methodically and, and more safely almost um, and so as a result that that, that extra kind of level of stress and paralysis with this this decision with so many options in is is an issue you know and then also once you've taken away the thing that you have decided to get whichever type of toilet paper from the 30 that you have decided to go for you then get home and you start using it and then you're like but but what if i got the other one and the other one had been better like this one's a little bit scratchy on the sensitive bits what, what would have happened if I had got the one that, that said that it was really well suited to sensitive bits? You know, all different, fi uh, all the five or six other ones that said they were they were better for that. What if I had got those? And so you end up being less satisfied with the one that you've got. Now, 
swap this all around and you can by the way you can use any product in there the the thing still basically comes out you could use you could use chocolate bars you could use um types of alcohol whatever you know you you could you could uh supply anything i don't know why toilet paper came into my head first it just did um and so the thing is then then you go to um to a dating website or any number of of things set up to help people date you know be it speed dating be it um a dating website be it a kind of singles mingling event or whatever you know you 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 go to all of those and potentially you can be with or you can approach anyone in that room yeah anyone in that place and so then as said with in my video about the kind of mindset to approach um, online dating if you've got either a very specific or a very broad mindset when going in and you're not really taking things kind of uh, in perspective and in proportion then either if you've gone in with the very broad mindset then you're looking at this huge pool and you're open to anything but then potentially that means that you won't be satisfied when you kind of actually find something that seems really good because there's still so many other options and there are so many other what ifs and so the quality of, of what you've developed there may not be what it could be simply because you don't have the confidence in it because you're always doubting yourself because you're there's a lot more of the what if and a lot less of the satisfaction with kind of where you've ended up but going in from the other end of things where you've got this huge amount of choice but you've got this very specific very narrow kind of view on things that that's what you want specifically if you don't find it then you're just going to get miserable you're just going to to kind of it, it there's so much choice but there's none of what you want you know you you're you're going to feel like this was a waste of time that you're wasting your time you're not getting anywhere with it you're you're just kind of running a uh, into into blockade after blockade of problem after problem and not finding what you what you you're looking for you know and all of that extra choice just makes you seem so much smaller again when to you the the thing that's important to you you know has to stand out and so if you're again though this this one person that sat there going well i'm looking for this one thing that's specific but just doesn't seem to be here and there's so much choice but nothing seems to fit the bill then again all you know you're you're very small you're being pushed out you're being deterred from finding things from from finding even if it's like engagements with people that can can just enrich your life and theirs in the short term or just as a friendship or whatever else you know you're not letting that happen and so let's take a look at this coming in from the perspective that i mentioned in that other video which again i'll link to things down in the description below for people who who haven't seen those and are interested in kind of where i'm coming from with this so you're coming in you're thinking i can i can give me as a gift and 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 enrich the lives of people around me i can make friends i can see how this goes and i can just see this as an experience to get where i'm going yeah to find a person that i i can just mesh with and have the interactions with that i want great in which case though you've still got all of this choice so then how do you handle the going in and having so much choice but being and, and avoiding the less satisfaction with what you're doing and now here we're going to be going in and we're going to be like oh i can i'm i'm here to make friends i'm here to see how this goes yeah and so as a result it's not about choice it's about interacting because you're not choosing and they're not choosing you you're coming along and you're saying hello and you're seeing what happens it's all about just changing that mindset so that it isn't all purely about choice because as said with the choice with the overload that you get from this then you end up kind of just running into a brick wall if you take either of the two kind of extremes in approach to this yeah you end up with all of those what ifs or you end up with the the empty feeling where you are just surrounded by people but you don't have anyone to support you or to hold on to you or that has what you want so come in to come in on that middle ground where you can come in and you can be like right well it's not about choice i don't i'm not choosing these people and they're not choosing me i'm coming in and i'm having a chat with them i'm going to see how they are 
ask them how their day is, engage with them on some stuff that they've put in their profile, see how we get on, and if we get on, then it's fine, and we'll see what happens after that. You need to be open, but also, like, not too kind of headstrong, rush in, get what you want, yeah? You need to be, you need to know what you want, don't get me wrong, you need to have your limits, you need to have your boundaries, you need to have your standards, but at the same time, those things should just be part of what you are. And they shouldn't be, like, purely developed and created and manifest just for this purpose. Yeah? And so, as a result, then going in, having those conversations, meeting those people, you know, interacting with them, uh, and, and seeing where things go, it's not a choice. You then have choices later on, and those choices will be a much, much simpler thing because they'll be between two things. It'll be you've got really close to someone or you've made a friend of someone or whatever else. Do you meet them? Do you not meet them? Do you date these per this person? Do you not date this person? Yeah, take it individually. And then obviously, excuse me, obviously depending on how you um, kind of like manage your relationships, what kind of lifestyle you have and everything else, then after that point it becomes a case of well yeah okay so now that if you've gone and met that person and then it's developed into a relationship then the choices again become just streamlined on what you want what you have instead of that huge choice overload to begin with you know chunk it down take one person at a time you know treat them in the way that you would treat people not they're not a choice of product yeah, again, is this the thing that I guess I'm trying to get across here. But um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think. You know, have you been in the situation where you've come along onto online dating or even just like in the supermarket and there's just been so much stuff that you need, you, you've not um, had a, an easy time of choosing or that you've, you've had a real difficult time of maybe approaching stuff just because it seems like such a da daunting set of choices and options before you, you know, let me know. You know, how did you handle that at those times? Whether it was with people, whether it was with products, whatever. You know, um, and, uh, you know, if, if you end up actually taking some of the things that I'm saying and, and using them, then please, you know, again, let us know in the comments. Tell us whether or not it works for you, or if it doesn't work for you, how things have panned out. You know, because obviously if there are things that I've said that are unclear or things that aren't necessarily working for you guys where they've worked for me and clients and other pe other coaches and other people around this, then again, you know, there might be a way for us to readdress this, reframe it, to discuss it, reflect on it, to, to make it um, applicable to, to where you are as well. So otherwise, though, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.